to my channel, Life's Little Things. My name is Karina, and today I'm going to be cooking garlic and ginger beef. And this I found um, here on YouTube through the Kraken Girls, and it is under their one of their freezer meal recipes, if you look for it, but I'll have it listed below too, so that you can um, take a picture of it or write it down for ease for you to be able to do this. Um, we are in our Asian meal week, so this is one of our Asian meals. All right, the recipe calls for two to three pounds of beef cut into one inch strips. And what we did was we bought a big roast and we actually are using a part of it for one recipe and a part of it for this recipe. So we did two to three pounds of roast meat is what we used. You can use any meat. It doesn't say anything specific. So you can even use, you know, flank steak or anything like that. This is still just a tiny bit frozen, but it's breaking up, so I'm not worried about it. I do not have my crock pot on um, because it, this meat is cold and the things are cold and because I do not want to crack my crock pot. And this crock pot is kind of pretty old, actually. My mother-in-law um, bought it for me for... A Christmas gift years ago so it's very very dear to me because she is no longer with us so I just I I just treasure this crock pot and every time I make a crock pot meal I think of her because she was just the best mother-in-law she was so sweet but anyway okay um, it calls for one large green bell pepper chopped into strips I used two small bell peppers so we're going to put that in there. Okay, let me slide this crock pot out of the way a little bit so you can see. Then in a bowl is where they make the sauce. So it's going to go over it. Um, okay, so they do one cup of soy. So I have my <coughs> cup here. Excuse me, goodness. Choking out my own words here, aren't I? Okay, so a cup of soy sauce, let me show you. We use the Kiko Man's Less Sodium Soy Sauce. You don't need a whole, I don't need a whole lot of soy, uh, salt. So we try to use less. Oh my, this is gonna take a little bit. Okay, we got one cup of soy sauce. We're gonna add that in. And then I learned a little trick years ago on, um, a cooking show. I don't remember what it was, but when they use honey, and I've done it ever since because I think it's so cool, but when you use honey, let me slide this bowl out of the way for a second. You use, uh, you take cooking spray and you spray your measuring cup, and then you pour the honey in, and the honey will just slide right out. I'll show you. So I'm going to spray this. I'm going to use the same one they use for soy sauce because it's all the same. I mean, it goes in the same recipe. So they want one cup of honey, so I'm going to go ahead and use the one cup and spray this, okay? I spray it up, you know, on the edges and then the bottom. I'm going to take my honey and do one cup, okay? Get my bowl back over here. Grab a spoon and watch how this honey comes out. Just like that. It just pours right out of that measuring cup with that cooking spray in there. I think this is just such a brilliant idea. And every time I use honey in any recipe, that's what I do because it just, I always had a hard time with honey sticking inside my stuff. I'll even do it if I. Um, if it's going to stick inside of like even a tablespoon and stuff as I'm measuring, <clears throat> it works. So I'll spray the tablespoon so it works. Okay, and then um, six heaping tablespoons of minced garlic. So we like our garlic. If you don't want so much garlic in yours, you don't have to, but we don't mind garlic. You guys are going to hear my one of my sons um, letting jewels out the back. So that's two, three, woo, four. All right, let me get my big guy in here that I bought. Let's 
So we're at four. Oh yeah, that's my big boy. Otherwise I use this tiny one, but I'm using the bigger one because I got quite a few recipes that call for garlic, but we really like our garlic, so. Woo, making a mess. Like I always do in my kitchen, right? It's not cooking unless you make a mess. Okay, so that's five. And one tablespoon of minced garlic. And instead of just doing the, um, just buying garlic and stuff, this is what I've been doing for my, not garlic, good grief, ginger. <laughs> this is what I do for ginger. So it's one tablespoon of ginger. And you mix it together. So we have soy, honey, garlic, and ginger. Wow, this really smells good. This sauce, yum. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back over. I forgot to add water chestnuts. Drain these, it's an eight ounce can of water chestnuts drained. I'm gonna dump these in. You could probably really use two cans if you wanted to. I mean, make it however you want to make it. Next time I make it, I'll probably do two cans because we really like our water chestnuts. And one can, there's not a whole lot in there, but. Okay, I'm gonna take the sauce. I'm gonna dump the sauce over the beef, water chestnuts, and green pepper. Get all, scrape the bowl and get that honey in there because that's gonna, you know, act as a sugar and um, make your dish sweeter and Really good. I think this is going to be a keeper. I will let you know um, at the end of this video if we really liked it. And I will insert a picture at the end too and show you what it looks like after it's all cooked up. So, all right, I'm going to stir this around. Wow. Can you see that? It looks so good. All right, and then you put this on low for five hours and then five to six hours. But what they do is five hours and then they add green beans, frozen green beans to it and then cook it another hour with green beans. But I don't think I'm gonna add the green beans to ours. I'm gonna have green beans on the side. I did buy frozen green beans. So I'm gonna cook this for five hours and then I'll switch it to warm to keep it warm until um, my husband gets home from work. And then I will do the green beans. I got the steam steamable package one of green beans <laughs> and we'll have that on the side so all right like I said I will insert a picture I will let you know what we think of it but I think this is a keeper this really smells so good you could probably add onions and stuff to this too if you really wanted to but I've never made this before so this is just kind of my first time making it and then I'll build on it because that's how we do our recipes anyway we just kind of make it the first time and then build on it so things that we like we add in and I make notes on my recipes to what to add in and what to um, change or do next. So, all right, thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. If you make this, let me know. Comment down below and let me know what you think of it and what you did different to make it for you and your family. So I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.